Pete Drew here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I'm playing uh, Heartbeats, Ellie Goulding's version of Heartbeats. This was a request, and thank you very much for requesting it. Sorry I didn't look up your name, but I'll make sure that you know this video exists. Um, and I listened to it and I really enjoyed it, it was really nice. Obviously I knew the version um, Jose Gonzalez did um, a version before, and it was originally done by The Knife, I think. Um, so this was her version of it. It's just a great little strum along song, really good if you're a beginner, uh, if you know a few chords and if you've got a capo. The capo is actually really really useful for this to sing at the same pitch as hers. If you take the capo off and play it without it, uh, you're not going to be able to, it's not going to sound as high basically. If you find it too high, then move the capo down. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take you through how to do it. It's pretty simple. Uh, there's just a few chords that you need to know. So the first chord is a G. You take your middle finger, stick it on the A string on the 2nd fret. You take your ring finger, put it on the 3rd fret on the E string. Um, and you take your little finger and put it on the bottom string on the 3rd fret. If you don't know the names of the strings, I use a system um, called Eddie 8 Dynamite Good by Eddie or E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. Just come up with your own acronym just to remember the letters, the names of the strings. Very, very important if you're just starting out with the guitar. Okay. And we're going to use a plectrum as well for this one. Although it wouldn't be too bad with your thumb. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. It's quite... But anyway, I'm using a pick because I'm a pick player. Okay, so we're starting with that G. Now, before we do anything else, let's talk about the rhythm. So watch what's being played on the right hand. Okay, so the first part of the song is we're just hitting the top string, you know, which our third finger's holding down. We're just going to pick that individually. It doesn't matter if you clip a few other strings, but just try to hit what we call the bass note, the lowest sounding note. And we're going to go down, miss, miss. Sorry, just down, miss once, not two misses. So it's down, miss. Then we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. seem like you're doing a miss there, but you are, because if we weren't, we'd be going... Okay, so it's one, two, and three, and four, and... So that's the first part. We do G twice. Sorry, four times. Okay, let's start that again. So this is once. Okay, we're then going to do it a further one more time. Then we're then going to change to an E minor. Now there's a way that we're going to do that, but for the time being I'm just going to show you the E minor. So this is the G, to change to E minor, this finger's already there. Brilliant. Leave that there. Ring finger underneath on the second fret on the D string. Okay, so you're holding down just two strings. Same rhythm pattern. It should be open string now. We're just going to do the E minor once. There you go, there's once. Then we're then going to change to a C. Index finger on the first fret on the B string, middle finger on the second fret on the D string, and ring finger on the third fret on the A string. And then we're going to do the C just the once. And that's your order of chords, okay, for more or less the whole song. Not the complete song, this is a two part lesson, I'm going to tell you how to get the other part in just a second. So this is G, G, E minor. Now there's one thing that I just forgot to mention. So you've got your G here, okay? When you change to E minor, so you bring those fingers down like I've said, leave your little finger on the third fret on the E string, so left over from the G, right? Good, so that's actually your chord, my mistake. So you put the little finger down, then, when you change to C, I also want you to leave your little finger down there, okay? It just sounds really nice. There's actually two guitars in the uh, Radio 1 Live Lounge recording, and that note is used a lot. So we're sort of replacing it by putting that other finger and replacing the other guitar. And it does mean that when you then change back to G, so this is your C, when you change back to G, just move those fingers up, so it's easy enough. Leave that little finger held down throughout the whole song. Little chore 
join to the E minor now, okay? And then that will be more or less the end of the lesson. So we're going to go G, G, so what I'm doing there is I'm going down, down, up, just on the top three strings, so it's G, and then for the next part I'm going to bring this middle finger up to hold down the second fret on the thickest string, leaving the little finger there. And then we'll do the same rhythm, so that's down, down, up, or down, miss, down, up. So it's down, miss, down, up, down, miss, down, up. We're then going to change, obviously, to the E minor there, so you should know that now. Okay, so I'm going to do that slowly. So that part of the beginning, I'll do it from the G full speed. One, two, three, four. So always hitting the bass notes, so the lowest sounding notes. Lowest notes, lowest notes, then this join. Lowest notes. too long there, but for C it's the same thing. So just hit the A and A string. Okay, and if you do that, you're going to be able to play through the whole song until we get to the, and you, you knew the hands of the devil, which I'm going to show you in part two of this video. Now to get part two of this video, it's all completely free. All you've got to do is click the link in the video description. That will take you through to um, a page on my website and you need to just sign up to the student area. Once again, sign up is completely free, it's just an email address, and then you get taken instantly straight through to the um, student area where you can watch part two of this video if you click on videos in the student area. Um, and also, I'll be sending you an email um, just giving you hints and tips on playing the guitar, making the most out of your guitar practice, and making you a better musician, okay? Um, so that's everything, thank you very much for watching, take care, see you again soon, bye.